Hey there guys and welcome to the Me Maker U. Now some of you may remember the Me Maker. Uh, it was quite an awesome series. I really enjoyed it. And uh, this first episode is going to be sort of like a throwback to that last series. And uh, it's also going to be sort of a throwback to the first episode as well. But quickly before I start I want to say a few things. Uh, firstly is that this is for the Wii U and 3DS only. Uh, the, I am not going to be making it for the Wii and giving you a code for that as well. Um, the other thing is that the instructions are laid out a little bit differently on the Wii U gamepad, which is what I'm using to create the Miis. Uh, but it should be the, or you should be able to figure it out on the 3DS if you want to make the Miis along with me, uh, rather than scanning the QR code. Uh, the other thing is. Uh, I will be, of course, supplying a QR code with each me, so you can scan it with either the Wii U gamepad, and it will pop your me straight into your plaza. Uh, same with the 3DS, you just scan it with the camera, and it will pop it in the plaza. So um, there's two options there. You can either make it along with me, or you can just scan it yourself at the end. I am dropping the mystery me from each episode. I thought it would be sort of a fun way to give a hint at to next week's theme. But uh, people ended up sort of destroying the fun there by spoiling it in the comments, so I'm not going to be doing that this time. And the big news is, there is going to be no series number. It's just going to be me, you, me, you, me, make you, uh, not me, make you series one, episode one, me, make a you series two, episode one. Uh, that's because this is going to be an ongoing series. So there's not going to be ten episodes in the first series, and then I'm going to stop. Um, but just as that works like that, um, they're also, I'm not setting a schedule for it, so it's not going to be a weekly thing. Uh, there's definitely not going to be more than one a week, so, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's just because coming up with these me's became really stressful last time, and there was like a five month gap between the ninth and the tenth episode. So, yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Anyway... Like I said, this first episode is going to be a throwback to the first episode of the first series uh, on the Mii Maker, and so that is Nintendo Legends, and what we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, same three Miis, but in their updated style. Basically the Miis which I made last time have been updated officially since, so that's what I'm going to make now, and uh, you guys can scan them in and enjoy them on your console if you want to. And the last thing I will announce is that I will be taking suggestions for themes, so if you want to suggest them, of course, suggest them in the comment section below. Now I think we've been stuck on this screen long enough, we're going to start with creating a new male me, I'm going to pick the facial style in the second column in the third row, and the colour in the second column in the second row, and we're going to head on to the facial features and pick the style in the second column and third row. Moving on to the hair, we'll switch the colour to black. And here on the first page, we're going to select the style in the second column and fourth row. Right, eyebrows. Again, change the colour to black. I'm going to change the style to the one in the second column and the second row. And uh, here's the funky part we need to do. We need to rotate them clockwise once. Then we need to move them up once. And then expand them once. That will shrink. There we go. Right, with the eyes, we are going to pick the style on the second page in the first column and third row. And then we'll leave the colour as it is. We need to move them out once, shrink them once, rotate them clockwise once, and then move them up once. <coughs> now for the nose, we are going to pick the nose on the second page in the second column and second row. So two's there. And all we're going to do with it is move it up one, two, three times. With the mouth, we're going to go to page three. And we're going to pick the style in the first column and second row. And what we're going to do with it here is we're going to expand it twice. We will move it up twice. And then we will squash it one, two, three times. He's looking very happy. Right, we're going to add some glasses now. Going to add the glasses in the second column and second row and change the colour to white or grey or whatever you want to call it. And they, we will shrink it once and then move it up once as well. Then change the 
height to around 80% and the weight to 80% as well. Change the favorite color to black and we have made Satoru Iwata, the president of Nintendo of Japan. Now today's second me is also going to be male. We'll change the skin tone to the one in the second row in the first column and the facial style will be in the third row and the third column. Moving on to the hair, we'll change the color to black, go to page four and change it to one in the third column and fourth row. Eyebrows, we will also make black. We will pick the style in the first page, the first row and the third column. And what we will do with them is squash them twice and then shrink them once. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. This is going to look a bit odd to begin with, but bear with me, you know I always pull through. We will change the color to brown. Then we will pick the style on page four in the first column in the first row. And what we will do with them is we will shrink them once, squash them once, and move them up twice. With the nose, we're going to pick the style in the first page right at the bottom in the middle and we will move it up one two three times now the mouth will go to the third page pick the style in the first column in the third second row sorry <laughs> and what we will do with it is move it up twice squash it twice and then expand it once now what we need to do is set the height to around 90% and the weight to 90% as well. Change the favourite colour to brown. And we have made Reggie fils the president of Nintendo of America. Now today's final me is also going to be male. What we will do is change the skin tone to the one in the second column in the first row. Facial style in the first column and third row. Moving on to facial features, the one in the second row of the first column. Hair colour is going to be black. In the first page, we'll set the style to the third column and fourth row. And eyebrows, we will set to black as well. Now, this is where things start to get a bit funky, okay? Bear with me, because this is the official me for this person. It's not one I've made, so don't blame me if it looks a bit odd. Right, page two, we will pick the style in the third column and third row and leave it as it is. Move on to the eyes, it doesn't matter about the eye colour, but we will go to page 2, select the one in the third row in the second column, and again, this is where things get funky. Rotate it counterclockwise once, shrink it once, and squash it once. Yeah. <laughs> right, moving on to the nose, we'll pick the one in the second column and third row, and move it up once, and expand it once. We're getting there. <laughs> For the mouth, we will pick the style on page two in the first column and second row. And all we're gonna do here is expand it once and squash it once. That's it. We've, we've finished this me. All we need to do now is set the height to around 80% and leave the weight as 50%. Leave the favorite color as red. And we have created Shigeru Miyamoto the legendary games developer behind the Mario, Legend of Zelda, Pikmin franchises. So there you go guys, there's the first episode of the Me Maker U. The QR codes are on screen now for you to scan with your gamepad or with your 3DS. Uh, hope you import them and they pop up in your games like Nintendo Land or Pilot Wings Resort. Now as always you can leave suggestions for themes in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you next time with a new theme and three new me's. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.